Hi, I'm Garrett Earls, Director of Sales at Alpha HD Trailers. Today we're going to talk about modular deck connections. Here we have a horizontal pin joint deck to wheel area connection. Majority of the trailers that we build are a fixed welded connection. One thing to note also, whenever you purchase a modular trailer from us, the wheel area is going to be equipped with an emergency brake release. So that way you have the ability, if you're going to add deck or remove it, and you need to pull the wheel area separately and no air is connected, you can release the brakes. Some of the reasons you'd want this particular style of deck to wheel area connections are to add a deck extension, change out the type of deck that you have, change the pitch of the wheel area. When you get into multi-axle trailers, uh, multiple axles capable out the rear, or high capacity trailers, you really want to have the ability to fine tune the pitch of the wheel area. One way to do that is to shim this joint. With lighter loads, you're not gonna want as much shim. Obviously, with heavier loads, you're gonna wanna add more shim. And there's no chart to tell you what to do for your particular load. It's trial and error basis on how your wheel area and deck look when you have it loaded. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up this joint and show you how to take out and add shim. So, the shims, rest right here between the top flanges. You have a bolt on each side. You're gonna loosen those bolts. And one of the things we're gonna do today is I have a power booster attached to the rear of this trailer. Uh, I'm gonna use that to my advantage by lifting it up off of the ground and it's gonna help with opening up this joint and changing the pitch of this wheel area downward. Uh, we will add blocks, actually tubes, under this joint as well and lower the deck to the ground in the front and that will help achieve an opening so we can add the desired amount of shim that we would like. So now that I've got this joint open at the top, my shims are free. I can either add or take out shim as needed. If you need more opening in this gap, what you'll do is underneath this, you will want to inflate the suspension and raise the deck and block underneath. And then you'll want to lower the front of your gooseneck and it'll allow it to open even more. Also to note, the shims are stored on the inside of the center main beam on the driver's side. You'll have multiple shims uh, bracketed on the inside of this web right here. Whenever the correct amount of shim that you feel you need is in, you're gonna reverse the process. And that's all for shimming a deck.